Eric has returned, or he never really left, and he brought me more full beard awesomeness. Oh, what? Be no, going now, people of the world. My name is Redbeard, and I'm Eric, and this is a daily drink vlog for the beer of the today. We have got a growler of Odie McOatface by the Full Beard Brewing Company. Yeah, my arm's gonna fucking fall off now. <laughs> he made me hold that there way too long for that goddamn part of the video. And I assume this is gonna be... No, oh, actually, this this opened way easier than the last one did. This is a stout, I believe. That's what you said, right? That's what it says somewhere. Yeah. Um, I got the Full Beard website up here again for you. Fullbeardbrewing.com. I'm 99% it was. Yeah, I was right. I was right. I was right. Yeah, that's, that's I was right. That's fine. Yeah, so uh, and yeah, it er is, Eric, it, Eric profusely it apologizes for ruining the end of the last vlog by drinking too early. And he's definitely really not didn't. going to I do didn't. that again this I, I time. Care. Right, buddy? Really right? Yeah, he didn't care. Because he's, he's a great friend like that. Uh, I, I wanted to rehearse. Okay, this... Yeah, he wanted to rehearse. Because that, that's a thing that we do here. Like, are you kidding me? Rehearsing is not a thing that happens here on the Redbeard YouTube channel. Ever. No rehearsing. Even right now, I can't even put, put the cap on. But it's fine. It's fine. It's all good. Put it right here. Full beer brewing. Kind of see it. And then right like that. Kind of see that. Maybe. I don't know. Maybe. You can. It's Odie McOatface. That's what it is. So, you'll, you'll know it if you're watching the video and you read the thumbnail. That'll work. Well, not the thumbnail. The description is the thing that I'm trying to say right now. This is going fantastically. That smells pretty good. Smoky, kind of roasty, nice, malty, lots really of, good aroma. Lots of coffee and chocolate aromas. Let's give her a shot. Oh yeah, that's a very nice oatmeal stout right there. Just don't do it. Jesus Christ, You're fucking starving me here, okay? Well, it's just it's very good. Let's I'm a do thirsty this. Thirsty man. Cheers, everybody. Cheers to my ridiculously impatient guest. No, just thirsty. Is that? You shouldn't be that thirsty. Like you starved me a beer for like an hour before the video, so that I'd be thirsty enough to drink it. May maybe fifteen minutes. Maybe. It was like fucking hour. No, him and I were playing magic cards. I'll say it. I'm a fucking nerd. I don't care. We were playing magic cards. He beat me twice, twice with my own decks. And for the last like what fifteen minutes, of the last game, there was no more beer in your glass. Like really? Oh, you. Poor little guy. Oh. Oh. Jesus. Oh. I'm the one who has the drinks every day. You'd think I was the one that would like, I need the beer. Uh, I need the beer. No. Let's do this. This sharp Cheers, everybody. Everywhere, Did I do that? Did I need to treat everybody? Okay. I don't care. I'm doing it again. Cheers. I don't care. I might have done it before. I, I completely forget now. Everything. My brain is like falling into my head. The dog and the cat are going to fight over it on the, on the ground and they're going to. The dog's going to lose. You got it. that cone on his head. He's being it's nasty. gonna be an unfair fight. The, dog, it's, the cat has no claws, but the dog is insanely afraid of her anyway. It's hilarious <laughs> to watch it together. It's so funny. Okay, so what, what do we have for this? Damn, I forgot to bring it over again. These are great vlogs I'm doing right now. Like I said, yep. Obviously, obviously we did rehearse this time. We did. Obviously. Obviously. Very well rehearsed. We did a whole proof run. Oh, even cold face! Choosing names for beers is really difficult, so I put out an international contest for a name for Oatmeal Stout. Called a couple of mates who live abroad. After some great suggestions, Odie McOatface came out as a clear winner. I don't believe that. At all. I'm pretty sure this is just a parody of the Bodie McBoatface thing. That <laughs> I'm pretty sure. Maybe it is. That is pretty funny, though. Unlike the great people of a certain environmental research group who put out a competition for names and promise to name it after the popular choice... Then only did Ray. Oh wait, so you did actually do it? Really? So it was like you you were going along with that 
kind of thing, but they did the same thing to you, and you actually did it, whereas they, I didn't realize, but he just said they reneged, so they didn't actually name it Vody McBoatface. Like, screw you, European boat naming bastards who reneged on your shit. 5.5% alcohol, 27 IBUs. This is a rich and smooth stout that brings about a great sense of satisfaction. Processing an inviting aroma of coffee, chocolate, and hints of blackberry and vanilla. Yeah, I can agree I with that. I don't know about the blackberry, but it's interesting. Well, Definitely like the coffee, chocolate, vanilla. It's, it's it got that really nice stout. It's silky mouthfeel, touch of mocha. Stout has some sense of sweetness balance with the highly toasted malts. Beer that people of Timmins have been asking for. Well, you delivered to the people of Timmins. Well done. Yeah, I'm impressed, man. I like it. Like, that's... It's got a really nice overall, just... Everything about it, the flavor of it is just... I love a darker beer, man. I've been a big fan of red beer lately, actually, but my, my tastes are going darker and darker, which is new for me. You know, I like it. I remember drink. I remember drinking Guinness uh, in London. You know, oh. the first time I had a Guinness actually in actually, London. My dad and I went to uh, Camden Square, and I got to enjoy a Guinness in uh, in the city of London for the first time, which was an excellent and, and experience. You did enjoy it. Oh, and and I was like I said, I hadn't drinking a lot of darker stouts at that point. You know, it's been a taste that I've acquired uh, fairly I find, recently. I don't know if Guinness is. And it was it was great, man. Like it was stouts, great. stouts I've definitely come around to but guinness any any of those nitrogen charged beers i find it's like you pour it and it's like oh look at that beautiful creamy head See? and you drink it and it's like taste that delicious completely flat beer i can't i i prefer a stout much more like this yes to, to be honest you know, like, but uh, still, experiencing that that darker beer for the first time was. Uh, oh, that was your first time. Well, ever, it was still an experience for. I can't like. I, most I, people drink uh, American lagers. I want to say my first dark experience with beer was probably Guinness as well. I worked at a bar here in North Bay, and they got Guinness on tap, and I'm pretty sure I tried it. And I can watch the cascade when you pour it, the cascade of the bubbles and everything. I can watch that for an hour and just be like, oh, that's amazing. But the taste of those beers just doesn't work for me so much. They're, I find them to be totally flat. Like I need to taste that little bit, little bit at least, of carbonation in my mouth. A little bit of bubbles. They've got another... Uh, uh, full, full beard has uh, another... Uh, oh, I made it flicker that time. I should probably stop doing that. <laughs> yep, good times. Full, full beer has another dark beer. It's that uh, taste of metogamy, and uh, it's not. It's not. It's not a matamogi. It's metogamy. God damn it, Carrie! It's not as dark like this. Like I don't even. I'm not sure if it's a stout. I don't think so because it's not thick like this. this is but it, but it's still a great, like very dark beer. If that's uh, the kind of thing you like. No, well, there's like. It's so one of the things, like, I, I didn't realize when I started doing what I'm doing is that there's there's more than enough, enough beers out there to keep me going. Like, if I want to keep doing this until the day I die, which I kind of do, but at the same time, I don't know. I could do it. Yeah, there's a lot there's of videos, There's so man. many beers out there. There's a lot of videos. Excuse me. Yeah, but they're not difficult. I'm just sitting here having a beer, chatting with my hairy friend. Look at the slight difference. He has on what on his head what I have like here. I'm, ba I'm bald on most of my head, man. Still, I, I might be too, but it's, it's been a while since I've had any kind of real hair growth on my head. A long while. It's drink up, Buttercup. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you want to I'd be done if drink we number to, the last. If we didn't have to wait for the. Uh, the oh, I thought we were supposed to do that together. You ruined it.
Yep. A bit definitely spilled out there. Wow. Jeez. You didn't have to check. You got half a beer. I didn't have it at all. That was insane. I was just trying to stay at your level. I might die know? in the fight. So. <laughs> that was insane. That was good, though. Wow. No, it's great. Super smooth, Don't, man. don't chug the beer, though. That, that was... That was Full beer brewing! You're something named Odie Mc Odie Mc Face. Odie Mc Face. No, great beer. This, yeah. Oh. Rating. Again, the only thing I might say is like, just like the last one. You're yeah, making, yeah. You're, you're ma making a little label you thing. That, okay? Not this one. This last one. I will smack you in your mouth. <sighs> Ingredients. If you're making a little label thing. Why not put the ingredients on there? That's the only criticism I have on that beer. Aside from that, I'm giving it a solid eight and a half. I would have bumped it up to like a nine. But yeah, very, very good beer. Overall, Full Beer Brewing is doing a lot of great things. They're doing a lot of things right, that's for sure. I'm a big fan of uh, this beer, uh, as, as, as well as the other ones we've tried. And uh, I think they should keep doing what they're doing because uh, it's turned out good so far. I give it an uh, overall rating of a 9. Well, only yeah. because uh, rating these, like, I, I give it a 9 for a stout, you know, comparing it to other stouts. You know, on the last one, I, we, we, we tried the IPA. And, uh, and I gave that rating bait comparing it to other IPAs IPA, that yeah. I've experienced. And both of them, awesome. Awesome. Yeah. Like I said, the only only criticism, like, why why not put your ingredients? That's it. Aside from that, you're doing an awesome job, and yeah, and that's gonna do it for today's daily drink vlog. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, then be sure to smash that like button. If you want to see more of my videos, be sure to smash the subscribe button. This is maybe put some comments in the box down below. But thanks again, and thanks a whole bunch to Eric for just doing that fucking insanity at the end of the vlog and making it all kinds of fun. Cause yeah, good times. But what? all we got for the we're going tomorrow. A pizza. Vlog, man. I know. I tried to blow it right as you went in the end. <laughs> what the hell? You said I could. I never did. <laughs> I never said that.